Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, IoT, AI and fintech. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard and here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing. I'd like to thank you all for your support on social media about last week's news and please remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. You can also submit your media to media at nelsonhilliard.com and connect with me on LinkedIn as well. This week saw Larry Ellison having a poke at AWS while he unveiled the new intelligent database service at the Oracle Open World keynote. Although Oracle is far behind the market leader AWS in cloud, the chairman took the opportunity to take a swipe at the market leader. Larry introduced the company's new autonomous database, which means it runs fully automated, meaning it's self-tuning and self-provisioning. The database also repairs itself, so should it become corrupted in some way, it will be able to fix the error and continue. Because of this ability, Oracle claims guaranteed availability of 99.995%, which Ellison boldly stated was less than 30 minutes of planned or unplanned downtime per year. Also at the Open World keynote, Oracle launched its blockchain cloud service, which aims to give enterprise customers who want to get involved with the blockchain a fully managed approach. Amit Zavery, Senior Vice President at Oracle Cloud said, there are not a lot of production ready capabilities around blockchain for the enterprise. There hasn't been a fully end-to-end -end distributed and secure blockchain as a service. This week, Frame.io announced $20 million in funding. Frame.io is a video collaboration platform and has announced the close of a $20 million Series B funding round led by Firstmark Capital with participation from existing investors including Acel Partners, Signal Fire and Shasta Ventures. Frame.io launched on the scene back in 2015 and the company solved a growing problem with a seemingly obvious solution. Founder and CEO Emery Wells says that the long-term goal is to become the slack of video the company has over 370,000 users that have signed up and have grown the team to 40 people with $32 million in total funding. Frame.io sees more than 700,000 videos uploaded each month for review. This week saw SAP announce at the SAP Tech Ed 2017 conference in Las Vegas that it is joining the Cloud Native Computing Foundation or the CNCF Platinum Club. SAP now joins Microsoft, Oracle and Amazon Web Services who have all joined in the last few months as top tier members. Linux Foundation Jim Zenlin said in a blog after the announcement, in recent years we at the Linux Foundation have seen SAP invest more and more resources in open source software. They are early members of the Cloud Foundry Foundation and worked with the group and the Pivotal Labs to build open source tooling for the cloud application. SAP also uses many innovative OSSS tools in various offerings. For example, their HANA Vora Big Data program incorporates a number of components of the Apache Hadoop stack. In the Europe, SAP has become a leading advocate for the open source technologies. This week has seen Alibaba outperform Google in the cloud infrastructure market according to the latest figures from the research firm Gartner. The Chinese firm has revealed it has pushed Google down into fourth place in its latest industry overview, taking $675 million in revenue since last year, compared to the search giant's $500 million. Alibaba is performing so well, its success could soon possibly eclipse the entire cloud infrastructure sector with its rate of revenue growth already beating the likes of Google, Microsoft, AWS and Azure in 2016. Its revenues grew by a whopping 126.5% between 2015 and 2016, while Microsoft and Amazon's rates of growth were even poorer than Google's 100% at 61.1% and 45.9% respectively. With growth of 31% over the course of 2016, the infrastructure as a service market as a whole is estimated to be worth $22.1 billion, up from $16.8 billion in 2015. Gartner Research Director Sid Nag said, the worldwide public cloud service market growth continues to be driven by digital business initiatives, data center consolidations and application migrations to the cloud. This week has seen Rolls-Royce team up with Google on the autonomous ships. The ship-based AI will be trained using Google's vast data analytics platform. 
Rolls-Royce and Google have signed a deal to jointly develop technology for use on autonomous ships. Considered an industry first in the marine sector, Rolls-Royce is currently developing an AI-based object classification system designed to detect, identify and track objects that a vessel may encounter while at sea. The company will make use of the same neural net-based software that powers Google's products, including its smart assistant and voice search. Eva Fors, head of Google Cloud Sales Nordic said, by exploring the possibilities presented by machine learning, Rolls-Royce can combine latest technology advancements with its deep knowledge of the maritime industry, ultimately bringing significant improvements to the sector. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard and thanks for watching this week's Cloud Computing and IoT News Highlights. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.